What up? You're in the lab with your boy, Risky Boy, the producer, and this is Beat Finders TV. If you want to watch this interview again and others, go ahead and make sure that you go to beatfinders.net and you can watch every interview, including this one, the ones before it, and the ones coming up very, very soon. I'm making beats since I was 17. I think I started producing probably about really really producing like three years ago um, I started off rapping when I was like 13 and as soon as I got into production I was like man fuck that I'm not gonna do that <clears throat> occasionally here and there I'll, I'll do a verse or like a rap hook uh, but I got really into, into songwriting and production once I found out I, I had it in me so um, I have a great management team behind me. Uh, my manager T. Gray has put in a lot of work for the city uh, over the years, from everything back from the box to being a producer himself, to working uh, at the Toyota Center actually for the Rockets, and uh, and now doing this boot camp thing with you know Johnny J and DJ Bonnet, the rest of the boot camps. Mr. Roger, shout out to the whole boot camp. Um, but yeah, he kind of, he saw some potential in me that, that he thought could turn into something else, so he, he took me under his wing and um, <clears throat> just kind of tightened up all the loose screws and really fine-tuned what, whatever it was that I had and made me into a better producer, a better beat maker, um, a better engineer, a better songwriter, so um, just working together with him. Plus the credits he has under his belt already. The uh, credits I'll never be able to have, like you know, big mode, shit like that. Like, it's just, it's, it was cool to have you know an OG come and, and you know take somebody like me under his wing. So since then, I mean, shit has been jumping off. I've I've been in beat battles. I've won beat battles. I've lost beat battles. Um, shout out to Space City beat battle actually. Uh, Jedi Master, T Piper, um, and. Uh, I've hosted a couple events, um, like uh, Kickback Sunday with um, SF2, shout out to Teresa, uh, Susie, um, but yeah, we just, we, we just kind of keep the work going. many artists I've worked with. Uh, I did a full, full-on album with uh, GT Garza like a year ago. It was called Girls. I produced the whole thing, wrote a couple hooks on it, mixed the whole thing. We put that out and it did very well. It came out November 5th of last year. Um, next project I'm working on uh, will be with a very close friend of mine, a fellow of the Switch House. Um, 
I'm, again, I'm producing the whole project. I'll be featured on it as well. He's a great artist. He never stops writing. You actually have to tell him to stop. But he's he's incredible with what he does. His voice just demands so much attention. And I think that's, that's really what people gravitate to when they hear him. So me as a producer, I have to go in there and make the track that'll support that and grab your attention just as much as, just as, much as your voice will. Um, so yeah, every, everything now is just work. Uh, been putting in work with other producers, like uh, my boy Tony Dark, uh, the Bank Boy, Track Sounds. Did a couple tracks with uh, Sci Fire a couple years ago. We need to release. Pretty much where I'm at right now, everything now is just making beats, submitting, um, trying to get a placement, uh, well, a couple placements. So we've been sending uh, beats and beats with hooks out to these different labels and uh, doing the same thing with my sound clip, just updating it and keeping my blog relevant. <coughs> I started blogging. I figured it was the best way to to uh, keep an online community around myself and, and um, post beats all the time. Just just make it really personal. Just uh, kind of bring people in, you know, make it like an open shop. So I started riskyboybeats.blogspot.com. <clears throat> And uh, I've been getting hits lately. Uh, people have been purchasing beats. I do the $50 beat deal. Um, I do custom beats, remixes, everything. Uh, I'll try to fit and hold myself. I really like R&B. Um, dance uh, I, was in, I was into for a while. Dub, I kind of touched for a little bit. Um, a lot of trap shit, a lot of West Coast shit, a lot of R&B shit, a lot of uh, pop ballads. I've written a couple of those. Um, I've worked with artists like uh, Sophia Fresh, who are signed to uh, T-Pain at the moment. And um, we put together some really good records. We had a record called Try. Um, and my hard drive crashed. So I lost that session. So I gotta remake that. Um, we have the lyrics to it, everything. We just I just gotta go back in and remake it. The hard drive crash and shit is one of the worst things that can happen. It's almost like well it is like losing a couple years of your career just in a day. It sucks. Terrible. Um, I think I had like about 800 beats that I had done in like a two year span that had been completed and they were ready, they were fine tuned. And lost them all. So as soon as that happened, I bought another drive and just started from scratch. So now I'm building up my entire library. So <clears throat> some of the beats I'll never get up. Damn near all the beats I'll never get back. Just the ones that I, I really remember, which is like 20 that I have stored in my mind that I need to remake. Um, but the, thing, the main thing is just to stay busy. Um, if your hard drive crashes, you say fuck it, buy another one, get back to work. That's all you can do. Stay busy, keep writing, keep producing, keep creating. <clears throat> That's, I mean, the game doesn't wait for anybody. You gotta go out there and get it. So that's what we out here doing. That's why Beat Finders found me at the Beat Battle. That's why I'm here now. Just keep working. Always keep working. You can find me on Twitter at Risky underscore B-O-I. Facebook, Risky dot B-O-I. And Instagram at Risky underscore B-O-I. Also check me out at Risky B-O-I Beats. Dot blogspot.com For more information on booking, beat prices, whatever you need, I got you. So holla at me. Beat Finders TV, we in this bitch.